What's it? Let's see. Okay, I, 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 I got it. Hey, B Marsh Boxing, I'm back at it one more again with another boxing video. Here we are covering Featherweight Women's Division, Olympics 2021, Tokyo. We got Nesti Palacio from the Philippines versus Lin Yu Ting from Chinese Taipei. I don't know if that's China mainland or is that Taiwan? I don't know. But here we are. It's a very different contrast in body. The Chinese girl is mad tall compared to the Filipino who's rounded partly. And um, here we are in round one. Oh, oh. Two piece by the tall Chinese girl, but she got clipped with a straight right hand by the Filipina. Ooh, nice right hand by the tough eight, um, Chinese girl or Chinese Taipei. She's looking good, y'all. She's looking good. Look, look how tall she is. She, she don't even need to fight on the inside. She's mad tall on her opponent. She could fight from mid-range all night. Throw them long arms like Dal Sim, you know what I mean? That girl that can't even get close to her chin. She got good movement too. Oh, look at this girl switching stances on her, man. Girl switching stances on her. The, 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 oh, Chinese Taipei girl. Yeah, it's a big difference in height. Oh, straight left hand by the Southpaw Filipino Nesti. Nesti has a tall task ahead of her, to be honest, you know. It's hard for her to get on the inside, being the shorter fighter. Wow, what was that merry-go-round shit? <laughs> These girls just did a whole pirouette. I don't know if, what that was, but round one goes to the Lu Ting from Chinese Taipei. This little, this little Filipino need to go watch some film on Freddie Norwood, man, aka Little Hagler, for all y'all who might have remembered him from the from, uh, from the early 2000s. Freddie Norwood had great fights with Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, Smoke Gainer, Derek Smoke Gainer. You know what I'm saying? He was a small featherweight. Short, but um, strong and stocky. That's why they called him Lil Hagler. That's who this uh, Filipino girl need to go watch some film on if she want to improve her technique. Cause she's pretty ineffective from the outside, but when she gets on the inside, which is seldom, few and far in between, she does land some nice body shots, which she should do to break down this tall Taipei girl. Not clinching going on. Clinching got her on the ropes, man. This girl had her whole elbow in her throat. Taipei girl. Storm punches from the out. She definitely has a faster hand speed. All those punches missed. But you know, this Olympic boxing, the girl from Taipei threw like six punches, all of them missed, but she'll get credit because it's uh, punches and bunches and activity. Ooh, overhand left by the Asian, I mean the Filipino girl, Nasty. Got the tall Taipei girl clinching. Now she's getting into Bushwick um, roughhouse tactics. Grappling through the Filipino on the ground. She's back up. She's not throwing nothing. She's uh, trying to gauge. She's trying to get past that jab. Ooh, nice one too by the shorter Nesty from the Philippines. Ooh, nice. Nesty's coming to work now. Oh, ah, come on, Raf. Man, what the fuck? You see how the ref stopped the action? 
The referee just interfered with Nasty, who was on a roll. Maybe they try to save the tall Taipei girl. Oh, these guys, girls, are not boxing no more. Now it's it's Greek it's Greek wrestling. A lot of grappling, elbows to the throat. Oh, forearms, excuse me, to the throat. Mm. Ooh, they throwing hard punches with the uh, Taipei girl, Lu Ting, getting the, um, the best of those exchanges. Ooh. The, the 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 tall Chinese girl, she she got some good technique. Or the uh, Taipei Chinese Taipei, and I'd say she's up at least two zip right now. Two rounds to zip. They got four five judges at these Olympics. Don't matter to me because I'm not going with their scorecard. I'm going with what I see, and so far. Haven't seen no robberies, no bad decisions. Everybody who I've had on my scorecard win, the judges gave them the decision. So I have a two zip right now for the tall Chinese Taipei girl, Lu Ting versus Neshti Palacio from the Philippines. Round three is up, y'all. It's coming up. Final round. I ain't going to hold y'all, man. This is probably going to be my last Olympic video for the night. Unfortunately, you know, Olympics is not on my time zone. Tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow's a working day. I got to go to sleep, y'all. You know what I mean? This is a featherweight clash. Winner moves on the round of, uh, I believe, 16. Oh, nice, nice punch combination by the. Oh my gosh, you see that? <laughs> this girl made her do a whole spin, man. She fell on her ass. Nasty needs to get on the inside and stay there. That mid, look at this, look at this. This girl got a whole forearm in her face. Nasty. Oh, look at the Chinese girl switching stances, boy, from Southport to Orthodox. What Neshti needs to do right now in order to win this fight, and she could probably win by knockout. I mean, I don't know her power, but I'm saying uh, she needs to keep a high guard, okay, and bob her and weave her way into the inside. She's fighting from range, and she's a little too far out. When she gets on the inside, the tall girl is grappling. I wouldn't even call that clip. Oh my gosh, this girl, oh, she hurt her. I thought, the, I thought the Filipino girl was about to fall down. They got to do an exchange, y'all toe to toe. Yeah, Palacio ain't throwing, and she ain't throwing nothing since the combination. She looked like she got hurt. And now she's on the back foot. She, the whole time she was on the front foot. Final minute, y'all. 50 seconds left. Oh, check right hook by the, um, uh, what's her name? The, the little Filipino nasty. You need more of that. Get on the inside. Shoot them uppercuts. Easiest, easier said than done. But um, she needs to get on the inside and stay there, y'all. That's the only way she could win this fight. 
And but at this stage of the fight, she needs a knockout to win, which is highly unlikely. Straight right hand by the tall Chinese Taipei girl. Left hook by the um I'm sorry, right hand by the uh Filipino girl. But this fight's over, y'all. Bing bing bing. There it is. Patricio like thinks she won the fight, the little Filipino girl. I I highly doubt it. I got it three rounds to zip for the Taipei girl. Anybody from Chinese Taipei or China, get in the comment section and let me know which flag is it for Chinese Taipei. Is it the one that I currently have? You know, the Chinese flag with the red red flag with the yellow stars in it. Or is Chinese Taipei a different country? Is that Taiwan or something? Let me know. Be Marsh Boxing, educate me. I do a lot of educating. I educate you guys. So, you know, you guys can educate me too. Each one teach one, you know what I mean? Let's hear the scores. Let's hear. Let's find out. Read the scores, damn it. Tonight. Tomorrow's a work day. Oh, split decision. Holy cow, they gave it to the Chinese girl. I'm sorry, the Filipino. Oh. The number one seed, the, the Chinese Taipei girl gets knocked out. She's going home. That's a big upset, y'all. Big upset. Now, I saw this fight three rounds to zip, maybe two rounds to one in favor of the Chinese girl. I don't know about that. She crying, man. This is hard. I don't know if she won this fight, y'all. I'm not going to hold you, man. She's one round away from the qualifying for medals. Let's see. Oh, nice. Patasio. The Filipino won. Congratulations to her. You know, I really thought that the Chinese girl won. Might have to watch that fight again. But, um... I thought that the Chinese Taipei girl was keeping her on the outside. And when they got on the inside, it got mad sloppy. And the girl, look, this is this is also amateur scoring. Maybe they do, they like the volume punching that the Filipino girl did on the inside. But I don't think she won the fight on, on a first glance. I'm not going to call it a robbery. But, um... Yeah, the judges had it mad close. Split decision. Women's featherweight division. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this fight. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content. If you're new to the channel, please share and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. And as a matter of fact, if you'd like to donate, help, support, put some paper in Be Marsh bo bo Boxing pockets so I could uh, give y'all better videos, hit up my cash app at bmarsh333. Or you could hit up my PayPal account. My PayPal account email address is bmarsh333 at gmail.com. I'm gone. Peace.